Hello, good day. In this video, I will show you how to comprehend the tricks of a pattern. Okay, so let's say we have to answer what comes next. What comes next? Okay, in number one problem or in number one pattern, we have here A, C, A, G, and a blank. So, it's alphabetic patterns or sequence. So, we have here to write the alphabets, English alphabets. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. So, I think let's stop here at M. So, now, let us, let us try to figure out the, the differences of or the placement of the alphabet or the gaps of the alphabet so we have here from A to C we have here letter B as our center from C to A we have D as our center from A to G we have here F as our center then G to I we have here H as our center that means to say, this simply means that that the item in the blank should be the I. Because, based in our pattern, we have here A, C, E, G, I. It's alternate in pattern. So, let's try to take up number two problem. In number two problem, we have here... 8, 16, 32, 64, blank. So, we will try to figure out what certain pattern being applied in this sequence. So, let's try to, to have a certain way of attempting the pattern. So, the first one, the first thing to do is simply... Okay, so let's have this first. The, find the common difference first. Okay, so it's 8, the second one is 16, the third one is 32. So, as what we have here in their common difference, it is simply, we can, it is obviously stated here that we have 8, 16, and 32. So, we will just, 8 is, uh, 16 is, uh, is a multiple of 8 and 2. So, we have here 8 times 2 is equal to 16. 16 times 2 is equal to 32. That means to say, our pattern here is being multiplied by 2. So, we say we have here 8 times 2 is equal to 16. 16 times 2 is equal to 32. 32 times 64. Uh, 32 times 2 is 64. So, obviously, we have a unique pattern here which is multiplied by 2. That means to say, 64 times 2 is equal to 120 and 8. 1, 2, 8. So that answers our blank. 1, 2, 8. I think that's clear for this video.